If you want to see a scorned former employee testify against the president, or a Supreme Court nominee get grilled by lawmakers, what do you usually do? Open C-SPAN's website in another tab, and then pretend to be getting your actual work done. But if you want to be at this week's headline committee hearing in person, you better be prepared to get up at the crack of dawn. Very much of like a circus pace where it's very fast and you don't know what to expect. There was those people the other day, they dressed, dressed as swamp monsters. I didn't see them before. If you want a front row seat to the madness, showing up early is key. Well, the real big hearing, uh, usually, I don't know, two, three hours before. If it's a really big name person, there's going to be a lot of reporters. So it's really ideal to get there early in order to like reserve a seat. You people with TV equipment sometimes show up as early as 4 a.m. for a 9 a.m. hearing to make sure they get a spot. Very important to try to bring water and some snacks because you will never know how long committee hearings will go. If there's not enough space in the committee room for the huge crowd, sometimes there's an overflow room. If I'm trying to catch a lawmaker before the hearing, I'll stand outside of the hearing doors or I'll just wait for them to make their statement and while they're walking out, try to catch them then. Some hearing rooms are easier than others. It's tricky because there's multiple different ways into hearing. It's hard to dedicate that many resources to a hallway shot. So a lot of times you're just guessing. In some hearing rooms, C-SPAN already has cameras preset. Same with the committees themselves, which do live streams of most hearings. In the hearing room, it's real tricky because there's so much stuff to shoot around. Like on the witness table, there are nameplates there, but it's usually big and white and blows out. Water bottles and pitchers, microphones, it's very hard to get a clean shot. So the beautiful thing about Congress is a lot of these hearings are open to the public. And so anybody can come in that has just a form of identification. And so these can be students, these can be other journalists, this, these can be advocacy groups or lawyers or attorneys, just anybody that just has a desire to learn a little bit more about what's happening at the hearing. And then of course there's the protesters. For big controversial hearings, sometimes the most powerful images you'll get are the ones of angry screaming activists being escorted out by Capitol Police. Sometimes they will stand up right at the beginning, so that's when having the front position helps because you'd have the witness and the protesters. While the Hill has always had protests. In today's polarized political climate, protesters are often an expected part of big name hearings. I don't get there super early because, you know, wires are going to get there early and have that picture covered. So I just kind of wander in and, you know, get a side position, see if I could sneak my way in somewhere and just kind of hope for the best.